My phone is cracked. Should I be using phones? Maybe, maybe not. Look at me sometimes like all you want to do is run. Welcome back to my channel. So yeah, we are back at it again with Adelaide Cruise <laughs> Rendezvous. I swear. Ah, okay. So uh, we're going to the Rambeg Cube. It's like a very pretty glass house. If you check it on Google, and they also have like a, a lot of like wineries here. I think. Yeah, they do. So this is like the south, the southern part of Adelaide. Where we went in the last vlog is like the northern part of Adelaide. So I remember my Uber driver was telling me, oh, we are going to the land of wine. So apparently Adelaide is like the wine land. And it feels very vintage here. It feels like not old though, like nice, nice building, but like it feels like you're, in, like you're in the 90s or like something. It just feels amazing here. So this Durambeck Cube is in the southern part of Adelaide. And the view to the place literally so great it's so pretty the other 11 get something from nothing i sit here looking for an answer maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter you gave me the soul i have today without you i never could have moved away but now i see what you teach i do believe i always should have stayed guys so we are finally here it looks like like the picture online however i feel like the picture online was a bit edited but still it looks very very gorgeous and apparently there are lots of people that come to see it you know every day i guess also like um you have to pay for admission fee when you get it so you can pay online or you can just pay here so there's like two types of admission fee you can just pay twenty dollars for just the wine and the restaurants or you can pay additional ten dollars for the uh what is it called uh exhibition the dali exhibition also when you pay when you do your payments for your admission <laughs> you get like a token that will sort of like be a gate pass to the dali exhibition so this is the first floor which is like, um, I don't know, I'll just call this like a museum. I have no idea. It's just like a creepy place. <laughs> it's scary, but it's cute. It's cute, scary. I, I don't know. It's, it's nice. It's nice. I think it has like, no, I don't think. It has four floors. Okay, so this is the first floor. That was really not a lot. Just that first entrance and then this whole 360 experience. And then this is the second floor, which is the Dali exhibition. And this is where you use your token they give you. So without that token, you'll be able to enter here. Also, if you live in Adelaide, if you live in Adelaide, you know in Rondo Mall, there's this elephant with a man blowing trumpets, something, something. Yeah, the same person that did that is the same person that has all these sculptures. Or these sculptures? Arts? <laughs> that has all these arts that you are seeing. And the interesting part about this whole art thing right now is that you can actually buy these things okay it's very exciting and it's like you can actually buy it because the prices are there and it's the original piece and they were not too expensive for something that is like the original piece like original art that is going to appreciate in time dig it so it's like look at the price tags there for every single picture so everything you see here including the portraits including the molded art i want to say sculptures i feel like i'm not pronouncing it right so bear with me <laughs> yeah including that you can buy every single thing here oh look at that elephant thing i was telling you guys oh my god they have like the big one in rondo mall like so amazing so you can basically buy anything here you can buy any of these people are buying stuff i wasn't buying stuff because even though they were kind of like affordable to an extent not affordable for me <laughs> but maybe later in life but anyway 
it's pretty cool it's like it was really an amazing experience i think you guys should just check it out if you are in adelaide or south australia at some point so yeah We are here in the third floor. So the sad thing about today was that the restaurant was closed. Apparently they were on break. So there wasn't like proper food, but they had like snack on the view. Oh my god, the view from this third floor is so pretty. Look at so cool. Anyway, <laughs> the restaurant was closed, but you can see other like coffee or like snacks nothing like food i wanted really i wanted to try the food so bad like the pictures of life was so nice so i just go and explore but yeah it, we didn't have to do that today because they were break and they deserve to rest so here we are eating snacks anyway <laughs> so that's it so after this floor um the next floor is like the wine testing floor which is like what this whole place is about so this whole area is like wineries okay so this particular Duranberg, it's also like a wine production place. So they gave us like, you know, you, when you buy the ticket, the admission fee, you get the wine testing experience as well. You get to select like a section, see the white wines or like the red wines and all that stuff. By the way, I'm a white wine kind of person and a sweet white wine at that. So my first piece during all this wine testing was so weird. I mean, the first one was like nice. It was okay. It was okay because I just had like cookie. But it was very sugary. This sort of like complemented the sugary thing I just ate. So it was, it was good. I liked it to an extent. Okay, but the second one, the second one was like bitter. I was like, nope. When I tried it and the third one and all that stuff, like at this point I was just looking at the man like, okay, okay, smell it. What do you think? Okay, okay. I was just like, what? The right wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to be serious with this voiceover right now. This is why I don't like doing voiceover because I'll just be talking up for it. But um, the man would tell us like what the wine is, what it is paired with, what is what it is best paired with. So my best paired with steak. So my best paired with like pasta. So my best paired with sugary things. And I was like, I need something sweet. And he got this red wine. And no. It wasn't. It was worse than. I'll be biased though, because personally, I'm not a red wine type of person. I'm honestly like a sweet, um, sweet wine, white wine type of person, right? So like that red wine was not. Mm -mm, it didn't do well. I think at some point, like yeah, this one I just took now. I loved it, and they started laughing at me because everybody was like, because every single glass I took, I was like, nope, this is not for me. So when I eventually tried this one. And I was like, oh my god, I like this one. Everybody was just laughing because it was I was so happy to like get something I should drink. Like I needed a wine that you can just sit down and drink, dig it. And I don't drink wine often, but if I want to drink wine, can I just drink wine without pairing it with anything? Dig it, dig it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But yeah, I found the one I like. This one is also okay. But that other one that I took was literally the best literally the best but you guys should definitely check out this the Rambert cube like if you are like a wow so you can also purchase this wine by the way like also oh most important i know if you say i know you would think oh my god you're driving blah, 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 blah. but all the wine they will pour for you if you put it together in one glass it's not up to one cup of 
wine, one glass of wine, which you are allowed to drink if you're driving. But you can purchase this. You can you can purchase it. I have to like drink water as I like, clear my palate because I've been through it. I I went through it. I've been through a lot. Also, when we were living, we found this arcade place. What is it called? Acha's Arcade. I have no idea. But it had so many creepy things. Also, you need coins to be able to use some of their. I don't know what it's called. It's like a plaything. Plaything. Like to play, to watch them. Like, see, one dollar coin. So you need to get coins. And there's this wine store beside you where you can get coins. But you have to pay with cash. So you give them cash. They'll give you coin equivalent. And this is me, my Abaya self. Excited. <laughs> anyway, so basically, it was a great experience. I really, really enjoyed it. So, yeah, check it out. Check it out definitely it's it's really worth it so do i say i recommend i don't know it wasn't a paid something it was something to do in adelaide but i do recommend it though i do recommend it maybe call them to see if their restaurant is open so you can have like a full ass experience so yeah Time you guys saw me was in the Durand Duramberg. God, I was about to mind that. I apologize. Duramberg um cube. Duramberg cube. That place was so pretty. The only thing was that I'm trying to do my makeup when I talk to you guys. The only thing that the only issue there was the fact that um, the restaurant was closed, so there was like no food, but they had like snacks. But that place is the southern part of Adelaide and it's just like if you watch my previous vlog, the one I posted last week, that one um, was in Barossa, which is the northern part of Adelaide. So it's still like winery as well, but this is like the southern part of Adelaide, that also has that winery, like the lands there, literally amazing. By the way, this is like my five second video five second makeup routine <laughs> i just lather everything on oh this is the concealer that i got in that video i went shopping in in um can you focus please thank you yeah in um kenny's house and i thought it was my shade but it's not my shade it's so hard to find a shade like to get like your shade in normal stores here especially as a black person so this one I've had it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to check. But what was I saying? Is that the, the rubber cube amazing? Like everybody should just like if you're here and you like wine. But like my friend, it's like I like wine. Don't get me wrong, but I like sweet wine. I'm a sweet wine person. It has to be sweet. If it's not sweet, I don't like alcohol. First of all, so if I'm going to drink anything that has alcohol, you better be sweet. And most of their wine, I don't know if you guys heard the guy that was serving the wine. It's mostly paired with something like they'll say, oh, this one is going to be paired with like pasta or this one will be best with like steak. Do you guess? So it's like, what do I drink just for the fun of drinking? Like, what do I pair with nothing? Nothing. Only one of it was like good because it was bland. Like, it, for me, it had no taste. <laughs> oh, also, there's one that I drank that is greatly perfect with anything that is very sweet. Like, because it was just there. I mean, you guys saw my reaction. Let's try it with bougie and all that. But come on, it's wine. But, and he's not wrong. Those wines I didn't like, if you actually pair it with those things you suggested, yeah, it will be so much better. Anyway, so since I'm here, when I'm in Sydney, I don't always have time because I'm always like going back and forth and walking and picking up shoes. Da, 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 da. There's always something to pay for, okay? But since I'm here, I decided to use this opportunity and go do my eye checkup. I used to wear glasses for like one, one semester when I was in UNM, like in my third year of final year. I used to wear glasses because I always have, I've always had like itchy eyes. And then I went to a doctor just to give me glasses, which was crazy because I'm not supposed to wear glasses. I went to a second doctor to get a second opinion and they said I had allergic conjunctivitis. So they always give me eye drop. And then I came to Sydney and the eye drop, the eye itch, whatever, continues. So I got this is thing, okay? I got this stuff. <laughs> Honestly, 
I've just any time my eye feels itchy, I use it and then it stops. But today I'm going to go do a proper eye check well because last week it was so bad. It was it was incredibly like I was in pain, like literally in pain. So today I decided to book an appointment to just and see like an eye doctor and maybe get like um a glass. But I don't think the reason why I hated my glasses if I told you was because it was my first time wearing glasses. If you've noticed on this channel, I don't put on shades, nothing about glasses. I feel like my face is shaped in a very interesting way. I like my face shape by the way, but I don't like glasses, just doesn't fit me. <laughs> but I know at least I need like a protective glass. Like even if it's like a reading glass, not reading glass per se, but like a blue light glass. I don't know, just something. I mean that allergic conjunctivitis, I figured out the things that my eyes were allergic to, like bright sun dust which i feel like is everybody i don't know but mine is so itchy it's so red i can't see only this eye drop helps okay i just put it and then it, it's so painful but then it's sort of like you know then saying oh i watched one million videos on youtube and i finally sort of like got my um camera to look a certain way my camera i've not viewed my camera for like two vlogs i think two vlogs that first day has been with my phone because my camera was giving me sad it was giving me why do i look like this i don't look like this in real life i was like that too much contrast so i had to watch one million videos on youtube and then yeah it looks so much better i'm just excited i mean of course i still need lens to upgrade but as i'm still trying to like save money <laughs> I'm not buying lens because I cannot afford it now. It's too expensive, okay? But for the meantime, I have a camera. I should use a camera. But this quality that like this girl I watched on YouTube, I don't know, I'll probably put her name or her video somewhere because I use her settings and oh my god. I'm looking at myself right now. The quality, the skin is giving. It's giving what the camera is supposed to give. Thank you. Anyway, after my eye check off. <laughs> I don't tell you guys how extremely careless I can be sometimes. Not super careless. Like I was in the gym, huffing and puffing, and then I dropped the weight because I was doing Bulgarian street sports. That is sad. I was just exhausted, and then I dropped my weight, and it gets oh and then I dropped something else. I cracked my screen. Okay, my weight dropped here, and my screen cracked, and I was like. Oh well, it's a screen crack. I'm going to, I'm just gonna manage it. No, no. Only for me one day, one faithful day, I was like, oh let me clean the back of my phone. Are you ready? <sighs> my phone is cracked. So bad. So freaking bad. So apparently the weight fell here and it cracked here. And I thought, oh it's just a screen guard, but no. The back of my phone is looking extremely sad right now so after i go to the eye drop the eye doctor place one second oh also my laptop is also cracked should i be using phones maybe maybe not i don't know i'm a very careful person a, a little bit clumsy but for the most part i'm very careful i consider myself a very careful person it's just why are things always falling off can't things just be right it's not my fault it just falls. I don't know what I did, but apparently I've not spoiled. No, I'm not spoiled. <laughs> but I think I didn't just fall off. But the point is that this video is already seven minutes long. I'm just talking and talking. I feel like I'm just chatting with you guys because I've not really done that. But after I get my eyes checked, I'll probably see what they have to give me. I don't know what it is they'll give me. I'm just hoping that if they give me glasses, I have to pick something that is cute. But after I do that, I'm going to go to the Apple store and see what they can do on my phone. My phone looks very sad. And I feel like it's affecting my video quality. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm exaggerating. But I just feel like it is. Okay. Let me just quickly do this makeup off camera because I'm running late. And I'll come back. Okay. See, I'm finally done. And I'm running late. So I'm just going to do my eye check up and see what they have to say. Maybe exchange my phone. Hopefully. Oh, I'm carrying this bag right here. And... Okay, Pinterest stays my life when it comes to fashion. So I'm wearing my Apple Watch, of course, and these straps I got from Amazon, and this bracelet I got from Shein. This rings from Shein as well. This earring is from Target, and yeah. 
So Pinterest says do this. It's a bit cold, but not too cold to wear a jacket. So that's what I'm wearing. You can't see my shoe, but I'm just wearing like Nike and my black pants. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the mall. And okay, my camera for it is making me so happy. And my face beat five minutes video. Five minutes makeup. If I wasn't filming less than five minutes. Are you familiar with the machines at all? Not this type. This one? That's alright. So I'm just going to repass. So the first machine is going to be a farmhouse. And on the same machine, you're gonna, it's going to have air popping to your eyes probably three to four times. So it's okay to just rest your chin here and rest your forehead on there. I was just thinking, oh, I forgot to say something, and I just remember that it's been days since the last clip you guys saw, and I was like, oh my god, that iPhone whole, the whole iPhone thing was just so stressful that I couldn't even like vlog inside there. So, moral story is a moral lesson of the moral, well, the moral thing you should get out of this story is pamper your phones. Don't be like me. See, I'm going to cherish this phone. So the idea was to go and um the idea was to go and trade in my broken 13 to 14 since I mean I might as well do that, right? Mm, 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 mm. I got there first of all. They're like this one is broken. So the 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 thing mm, the 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 stall I showed you guys in the other clip I didn't realize it kind of like bent my phone a little bit so my phone wasn't flat so they did the whole flat test and my phone was like <laughs> it's, it's not funny it's not, it's not funny so the, the point they, they said I have to either fix my old phone and then trade it in for a new phone or I might as well just buy a new phone and after all the you know I had to calculate everything if I fix the phone and trade it in for a new phone uh i would just be saving 40 dollars from like the original money does that even make sense so when they say fix the phone by the way they don't actually fix your phone they just give you a new phone and they take in the old one but you have to pay so i just paid i paid 
but significantly lower than what you would pay if you are buying because this is an iphone 13 pro max so i had to pay to get it swapped so i got a new iphone 13 so this is like a brand new phone everything is still like fresh like okay it's so cool and i like it everything okay ignore my fingertip my fingerprints but everything is fixed so it's like a new phone from a new box not like without charger just like just a phone like you have to peel and just a brand new phone but you have to pay so but I, what i pay for it is significantly cheaper than what you pay if you are buying a new iphone 13 pro max right um so when i paid for it and they gave me this new phone so i was like okay let me just see if i can trade it in to get the 14 pro max and yeah what they were what i'm going to pay was over a thousand dollars i was like yeah i will just keep my phone because this iphone they will always bring out phone this phone has been good to me this 13 pro max has been amazing and i will just keep it because i'm like i'm not about to spend that money for my laptop anyway it will they're going to fix it for free but they'll have to hold it in for like seven days and i'm preparing for an exam so i need my laptop so i'm like yeah when i'm done with my exam i'll probably put that one in oh and the glasses <laughs> I thought we were wearing glasses. I did the whole eye test thing and my eyesight is good. I just have um, the allergies and I'll still be using the eye drop and just for more clearer um, vision, she's giving me the glasses and it also has like the, um, the blue effect, you know, the one that covers you from the laptop because my eyes get like dry very quickly if I'm looking at my laptop and I sit in front of my laptop a lot because i'm editing or like walk or whatever so it has the blue light effect it also has the oh like this sun effect also that she's putting there you know when the one the glasses are clear and then you go out in public and it's dark it's like your glasses are shades so because again the sun allergic it's insane <laughs> who is allergic to the sun my eyes but yeah so she's going to put that and then she's going to put the one that makes pictures clearer so I picked out two, because we are doing sales, so I picked out two frames. So one of the frames, she's going to put clearer picture and the sunlight shade thing. And then the other one, she just put the blue thing for the laptop and the phone. But yeah, I just want to like quickly pick up grocery, which I'm not going to vlog because I'm, I'm like so exhausted. I just wanted to just you know, tell you guys what's up, what happened. Because I wanted to vlog inside the Apple store, but you guys have seen what happened. <laughs> I was so tired, like I was there. I finished with the glasses around 12 30 guys i was inside the apple store by one and i stayed there until six i was so exhausted i was so angry i had to go get food i was just so tired i was like just because of phone because they had to do like internal like mri things scan my phone inside that phone was so damaged i am i am i am treated ah, the amount of money they would have taken from me i said i can't even imagine it but treat your phone with care okay do not be like me <laughs> anyway i'll see you guys okay later so bye for 29 and i find myself wondering what did happen to the last 10 i ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time the more we need to set the rewind and our team was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this 